meteorologist David Burgett. Feeling a lot cooler this morning than we did yesterday outside. We do have temperatures right now in Rochester just hitting around the seasonal mark around the upper 40s for us here. So 48 degrees with lots of sunshine still riding off all that nice weather we saw there on Saturday and some calmer conditions with some winds around three miles per hour. Everywhere else around the region this morning we can expect temperatures to be into the Upper 40s and then lower 50s. Really, if you're into northeast Iowa this morning, like in Osage and Charles City, sitting into the lower 50s for them. So we're going to continue to see some nice and calm conditions for the morning hours. Notice, though, we'll probably get some higher level clouds built into the forecast as we go into the afternoon hours here and throughout the morning. That's going to come all the way through our region. We're going to continue to see that cloud coverage build in. But the thing we will be watching out for as we have weak high pressure in our area that will move out is that we're going to be watching for this low pressure system all the way off near Wyoming over the course of the next about 12 to 24 hours, we're going to see that low pressure system move into our area. And ahead of that, we can see some showers and maybe even some possible thunderstorms throughout the morning hours for tomorrow. So that's kind of what we have going on here with some increasing cloud coverage today. And we're going to continue to see some showers move into the area throughout the morning hours and some rumbles of thunder in the forecast area. And then this week, those rain and storm chances do continue as we move on early into this week, especially there on Tuesday. So kind of setting up what we could see for t at least overnight for tonight and through tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center does have us in at least a level one area here for much of the central plains and at least Iowa heading into most of our viewing area here for the potential to see some strong storms in the forecast or potentially to see the possibility of severe weather. If we did see anything with this round of storms and showers for tomorrow morning, probably some more gustier winds, maybe some small hail in there if we do get that in the forecast. But really what we should be looking out for will be Tuesday. That Storm Prediction Center has us in a darker green here, which means that we could be seeing more scattered to isolated storms that could be more severe in the forecast area really on Tuesday. So that's something you need to be aware of as we go on Tuesday because that storm threat is there here in our area. So really guiding you through the rest of your day today. Notice we'll get some cloud coverage start to build into the forecast. Temperatures will go into the lower 70s here in Rochester. Notice though, as we go throughout the afternoon hours, we're going to continue to see some radar indicated rain. I do think a lot of this will not make it to the ground here until maybe about 8.30 tonight from north of the I-90 corridor. We'll start to see some showers move through the area. Continuing with that, look at as we get into the morning hours, 3 a.m. here, all across the northern parts of our viewing area above I-90, we'll start to see those showers and storms kind of roll through the area, kind of weakening a little bit around 530. We could see that continue on a little bit later into the morning hours for us, but rounds of showers will then be in northeast Iowa there into the north southern part of our viewing area. So we're going to continue to see that move out. We're going to see a little bit more cloud coverage in the forecast for tomorrow, but that rain chances continue really on Tuesday for that storm chance too, before we get more stray conditions heading into the rest of this week. Any type of rainfall we could see through this week, I do think around two inches here around the I-90 corridor and more north, a little bit less south of the I-90 corridor in the northeast Iowa. Building cloud coverage today into the forecast temperatures into the lower 70s. Tomorrow we'll see those showers and then storms overnight. And that storm chance really continues there on Tuesday. So that's a big day. We'll have to be keeping our eyes on here in the Weather Center. A lot of rainfall to come, but that's good for the farmers out there. Yes, good for the farmers out there for their planting season. And for the grass, it's looking very green, you know, really going to be in the summer spirit. Of course. <laughs> All right. Thanks, David.